Hello again. In Intelligent Sleep Profile, we've been using cell near data to tell phone whether we are home or not. We could use GPS or mobile data location for the same purposes, however those are very power hungry features. On the screen right now you can see how they stack in regards to their power consumption needs. Always think about power needs of your device, as the profiles will be waiting for triggers 24-7. In this profile, we'll be telling our device to trigger our task list when we are at work. We want this only to happen when we are at work and we schedule to be at work. We also don't want profile to activate when we are running late and we've not arrived to our destination yet, or when we're visiting work at a casual occasion. We're going to use a calendar in order to tell us when we schedule to work. So I hope you have a Gmail calendar available and you also created event work. Use the time of your working pattern and set the event as recurring event to repeat it multiple times throughout the week. We'll be using cell near to decide whether we are at our destination and also we'll be setting new variable work once we're there, we want to perform sets of tasks. For this tutorial, we're going to be using Secure Settings plugin that will expand the list of tasks available on your phone. You should see the download link on your screen right now. Like previously, let's open the tasker. I'm going to create a folder and name it Work. We're going to use state cell near to figure out whether we are at work or not. It's very wise to scan uh, the area multiple times to make sure all the cells are covered. Gonna create a new task and name it work plus. We're going to use a third party plugin to control our data connection called secure settings. In the configuration just browse the options and in actions you should see uh, mobile data settings. Feel free to configure uh, your work profile the way you want. Uh, I'm just going to make sure my Wi-Fi is off as I'm not using Wi-Fi at work. I'm also going to change the sound settings just to make sure the phone does not disturb anyone at work. Next, I'm just going to reduce brightness, as this is not necessary for when I'm uh, indoors. And lastly, uh, I'm going to select new variable, work. I'm going to set it to one to share the information that I am at work right now. In the same way, like the last time, we're going just to clone the task rename it and then just reverse the action to assign this task upon exit. I'm going to change variable to zero. When this is done, I'm just going to assign newly created task work minus as I exit task to our profile. By holding down the trigger, I get to add new condition. I'm going to select calendar entry. I have a set calendar for work so I can use to decide whether I should be at work or not. So I'm going to select the calendar type and uh, in the title I put the title of the event. Lastly, I'm just going to give a friendly name to our task and for this one obviously I'm going to type in work profile. 
As soon as we get to work, we still have got one variable to change. The variable is outer and at that time would be set to one. We want to make sure that it's no longer the case and the variable outer is set to zero. We're going to use the variable work when it's set to one to disable our outdoor variable. It is a good habit to rename every single profile to make sure you can find later the settings you wish to edit or change. After double checking all the settings we should have a working work profile. Just as again, make sure you're gonna scan the cell towers multiple times as it's often the case when you get multiple coverage from the different cell towers. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you in the next one.